warm up for back day is going to be similar to what we did for the upper body, shoulders and arms. If you missed that workout, you can either go back into my, uh, my library there on my channel or we can link it in the video for you. Um, you can see the full warm up, but basically we're going to do a tricep extension, we're going to do a bicep curl, we're going to do a shoulder raise just like we did last time. We're going to change it up by doing a rear delt. Okay, so we're going to warm up the back of our shoulders on here, and then from there we're going to go into lat pull downs. That's going to make up our warm up. All right, same thing as last time. We're going to be doing 10 to 15 reps and three to four sets. So you want to make sure that you're using a light weight. Okay, you can really get a good muscle contraction and focus on squeezing, getting full range of motion. If the weight's too heavy, you're not going to be able to get the blood flowing into your muscles. Twice in a row. Okay, from there into shoulder raise. Once again, just like uh, triceps and biceps, I really enjoy warming up my shoulders before any upper body workout. From there we go into rear delts on here. So you're gonna keep your hips back on the machine and keep your chest against it. A lot of times I've seen people leaning back when they do these, okay? We want to keep the focus on our rear delts and I guess uh, rhomboids, teres major, minor, and I guess you could say kind of your traps a little bit. All right, same thing, 10 to 15 reps. And the final one on back day is lat pull down. And I mentioned this on uh, the upper body workout that I really enjoy warming up my, my back, even if I'm benching or if I'm doing shoulders. So this part is always in my upper body warm up. Okay? Like I said, three to four sets, 10 to 15 reps. I keep mentioning it because it's most important. Increase your weight each set to your warm up, And from there, we go straight into seated rows, all right? So when I do my, my cable rows here, I'm gonna do them with a full stretch, all right? You're gonna see me really lean forward. I like to do that because it allows me to hit my lower lats pretty good. And I find that if I don't get that forward stretch and I'm just more upright, I end up using more rear delts and upper back. So my goal with these is to get that low lat insertion, which gives you that sort of V shape, okay? So at this point, we're gonna start doing our main work, which is gonna probably be five or six sets of between eight and 12 reps. As the weight increases, the reps are gonna drop. And you're gonna notice too, similar to the, to the last workout, the upper body, the uh, the shoulders, arms, and, and chest. This is my main movement. So when I did my bench press last time, that was my main movement, and I supersetted with a tricep or sorry, a bicep exercise. Today I'm going to superset my main movement with a tricep exercise. So probably a push down, but with a different bar. For our tricep movement on our main. Exercise, we're gonna go a little heavier now. So we're gonna keep it between five and 10 reps.
after our main work here, we're going to go over to chest supported row and probably pair that with maybe a trap exercise. So today I'm taking citrulline malate. Um, I've been on no carbs for three days now, so I'm having a bit of a hard time getting a pump going. Citrulline helps you dilate your blood vessels and really get a good pump. So on my no carb days, I'll take something like that just to help me get going in the gym. So when it comes to chest supported row, on this one here, there's two different handles you can use. Um, if you look here, you can either use them on the down low, which is gonna hit you more in your, your lats, and again, kind of that lower lat insertion, or if you have your hands up higher, you're gonna hit more on your rear delts and upper back. And once again, because my goal is not really to increase my strength right now in this training cycle, my goal is repetitions, but that doesn't mean I'm going to use light weight. I'm still going to push myself every set as much as I can and increase the weight to the point where I can't do maybe six to eight reps with good technique. So that's your chest support in a row. From there, we're going to go on to rear delts. Focus on the upper back a little bit. All right, let's go. Same as the warm up, but this time we're going to go five to ten reps. your weight every set so you'll see here I'm trying to go as heavy as I can like I said I haven't had carbs in three days I hear a lot of people talking about well on your low carb days you shouldn't go heavy or you should take it as a rest day or whatever I'm the opposite thinking on your low carb days you should be pushing yourself even harder using your body your own body fat as fuel for your workout if you don't work out on the days you have no carbs What's the point? You're only going to work out twice a week then because you only have carbs twice a week. So on your low days, you've got to be pushing harder than you do on your high days. So we're going to move into some traps now. The first exercise we're going to do is what we call a wheelbarrow shrug or a mach machine shrug. You can do them two ways. You can do them facing that way or you can do them standing this way. As an athlete, a guy that competes in powerlifting, you do deadlifts standing. So I personally prefer to do them standing and facing the machine. I find that it transfers over better to my powerlifting. And also you can use a little bit more body momentum so you can actually go heavier. Okay, so on this one we're gonna do maybe three to four sets. We're gonna start at maybe 15 to 20 reps. Increase the weight, decrease the reps, all right? And to maximize our time, and our back workout here, we're gonna superset with lat pull down with a different grip. So on our first, on our warm up, we use the neutral grip, all right? For this one, we're gonna use an overhand, a little bit wider grip. People ask me all the time, what's the best grip to use 
for lat pull downs or what's the best grip to use or handle to use for triceps. There is no best grip, do them all. As you can see in this workout, I'm using two different grips. On my triceps, I've already used two or even sometimes three different grips at this point. If you want full muscle development, you gotta hit the muscles from all the angles. So from here we're going to go into another trap exercise. At this point I'm starting to uh, sort of feel my pump starting to go away a bit. So we're going to go into a straight arm pull down, get that high lat insertion and probably call it a day there. But we also got to do cardio. So I'll explain my cardio protocol in a second. So similar to every other exercise we've done today, we're always ramping up, starting at a lighter weight gonna hit maybe 10 to 15 reps and keep adding for three to four sets. And we're gonna superset, like I said, with a straight arm pull down. Always make sure you put your weights away. And so that's it for a back workout. Um, once you get to a point, especially if you're on a, a carb cycling diet like I'm doing here, um, you get to a point where you stop kind of feeling your pump. You feel like you're starting to get cold. You're not really um, I guess using your muscles properly anymore. At that point, I like to put my hoodie back on, hop onto the cardio, and my cardio protocol is pretty much the same uh, for every workout. So I do 25 minutes post-workout, and I try to keep my heart rate around 130. That's about 65 to 70% of my projected max. The other way I'm going to do cardio would be fasted first thing in the morning where I'm going to do again 20 to 25 minutes, heart rate about 130 and then I'll have my breakfast after. If I do it first thing in the morning, I might take an ECA stack which is ephedrine, caffeine, aspirin, those three combined. If you don't have any experience with taking those, don't just do it on your first day. Um, Obviously, always talk to your doctor about supplements and th especially stimulants like that. Um, but for the sake of transparency, that's what I'm doing for my morning cardio. When I'm doing my post-workout, at this point, I've depleted all my glycogen stores and all my carbohydrates and all that stuff. And the last thing to be used is going to be my fat stores. So, again, that's where I'm going to do steady state, keep my heart rate around 130. And uh, 25 minutes later, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Okay, so we've got about two more minutes here on cardio. So I figure I'll take these two minutes to talk about some general guidelines of what you can do in your cardio. And today you see me doing the bike. Now, that doesn't mean you have to do the bike every time. Some days I'll do the treadmill. 
some days I'll do uh, like a high intensity thing where I'll do um, some ropes, like some rope slams or some medicine ball slams. And cardio can be used in two ways. Cardio can be used to burn calories if you're somebody who doesn't like dieting all that much and you don't want to reduce your calories, you would do more cardio. If you're somebody who's good with dieting, you're going to use cardio as a fat loss tool. So you're either going to do it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, like I said, or you're going to do it at the end of a workout uh, when, once you've done all of your heavy weights and your, your uh, machines and barbells and dumbbells. Um, those two are going to be the most optimal for fat loss. And anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. You want to start with the least amount possible to get the results as your body adapts to what you're doing and adapts to the stress, you're gonna to need to increase your cardio. So let's say you start with 15 minutes, three times a week. Maybe you do that for two weeks. You see the, the numbers on the scales are changing. Maybe you bump it up to four times a week at 15 minutes. Maybe the next week you bump up four times a week at 20 minutes. Maybe the week after that you do two times the 30 minutes and two times the 25 minutes. You're always progressing just like you would with your weights. You're always progressing your cardio to keep the results moving. If you have any questions or comments or want to uh, get the next video uh, on a specific topic, leave me a message below or send me uh, a DM on Instagram. Thanks for watching.